And of course, I've seen you in the films, and you look like a jock, but I understand that you're, you're quite into, in school, you're quite into chemistry. You're a bit of a, would you say, it's fair, a, a science, science nerd? A science yeah. nerd, is that fair? I love science. I do. I love science and math. I'm very analytical. I think that's what, right? Right brain? Left brain? I don't know. Got to do the math on that one. But, um... You had me convinced until you went like that. <laughs> No, but, uh, but you, you, like, you like to invent things, is that I true? do, I do. I, I fell in love. My, my chemistry teacher, Mr. Mariner, shout out, love you. He, uh, he's the coolest teacher I had. And so in science class, I, I fell in love with inventing. Just because chemistry, you create and you put different atoms and you, you, you make chemical compounds sure. together and you just create stuff. So I had an invention book because he was the awesome teacher and he said, anything's possible. And I started making stuff in this like, book. Like, what did you make? Like, someone told me you made a device that, like, a, a burglar who's trying to escape the police right. could use. That was me. I, I, okay, I wanted to, my grandparents, again, are from Iowa. Our bank's over there. This was, like, before video cameras or anything, surveillance cameras. Small little banks in the country. So, as a kid, I wanted to rob a bank. And I, <laughs> I made, this I, is, this is absolutely fascinating. I still want to, This is but not where I thought this interview would go. <laughs> Tell us more about your desire to commit crime. <laughs> it, was, it was more to get, get away with it. Yeah. So I love cops. <laughs> I love watching Judge Judy and Cops and Rescue 911 and all these unsolved mystery shows. Right. And for me, like, I was like, why don't the guys getting chased, from, chased by the cops have a trap door under the car? Like, you should plan ahead. Yeah. Because the camera is only videotape when they're throwing paraphernalia out the window. But if it was under the car, there's no cameras underneath. Right. So my idea was to rob a bank, I would have my getaway vehicle, and then I'd go down an alleyway in, in uh, Cop, Iowa. Cops chasing you. Cops chasing me. There's a, there, it's a small alleyway, so there's only like one lead vehicle chasing me, and then the rest are underneath. So I created this. I, I have all these drawings. I still want to do it. I need like a billion dollars, so if anyone has that, that'd be great. We, we got that. We'll take okay. care of that. Don't so worry about that. It, let, me, let me just talk you through it. So it's like a Pokemon ball, right? So it's red side. Yeah, I watched Pokemon, or I did. Um, and I'm, I'm obsessed with Tesla. Tesla and Albert Einstein and Mishu Kaku. So anyways, there's Tesla coils in there, and I have a chemical compound. And the whole idea is when you push the Pokemon ball, it electrocutes itself. You throw it under your trap door. So you're driving, all cool. Throw it under. All cool, take out your Pokemon ball. <laughs> Pokemon ball. <laughs> Gotta catch them all, right? Click it. You throw it out underneath throw, the car, so what happens? It's full of electricity, and once it hits the lead vehicle, like the metal, it just disrupts the whole battery and fries it. So when you stop the lead vehicle, it stops all the other cars because they can't go around it. So it just fries the battery, you can't restart the engine. You gave this a lot of thought on how to foil the police when you, when you rob a bank. Yeah. And do you think this could actually work? It has. <laughs>